Stocks did rally today with the Dow and the S&P 500 hitting all-time highs as everything. Small caps, technology, industrials recovered after some of their recent losses. But despite today's positive move in risk-on momentum stocks, as they're known, we've got somebody who says, you know what, it is way better right now to look on overlooked dividend plays as the real opportunity. Jeff Reeves is the man. He's InvestorPlace.com editor. Uh, we've had a very choppy market, and we're heading into, it's a little early to say we're heading into summer. Summer, but volume gets thinner, swings get wider. What are you looking at? First, talk about the criteria before you give us the three names you say are overlooked but will pay good dividends. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right that we're seeing volatility kind of pick up uh, while the market itself broadly, I guess, is doing well today with the blue chips. It is important to know that small caps kind of have underperformed in the last 45 days or so. Mm -hmm. So there is this kind of feeling out there of, of, of what's next. There's a little bit of doubt. Uh, you know as well as I do that a 30% up year again probably isn't going to happen. So the question is, where can you find opportunity and where can you feel like you're making a buy that's going to last for the long term? Uh, again, there might be swing traders who can ride this stuff up and down. Uh, I think that's a dangerous game. What I'm looking for are stocks that I think have a good short-term tailwind, but more importantly, ones you're not going to churn when you can hang on to for, for years or even decades and hopefully provide some good income from that too. So okay. it's a little bit of a short-term, but mostly long-term. I have a million other questions. I don't care at this point. I want to get <laughs> to these names. Ventas is the first one. Ticker symbol VTR. Give our viewers an idea of what they do. It's not a household name, is it? No, uh, Ventus is one of these companies uh, that any income investor should love mm -hmm. uh, because it's a uh, REIT, an REIT, so that means 90% of its taxable income is going to come on, back to the Hold on, hold on. Let's just dividends. explain that's a real estate investment trust, which is a basket yep, of different uh, estate, properties. Right. It's a real estate investment trust. So because real estate's a capital intensive business, the IRS, wonderful people that they are, give them tax breaks. In exchange for that, they have to deliver a lot of their profits back to shareholders, which basically means dividends for you. The, I, I like REITs broadly as income plays. The reason that I really like Ventus is that, number one, it's a triple net lease REIT, which means they only have to pay, uh, or, or the tenants have to pay everything that goes into the property. They have to pay the maintenance, they have to pay the taxes, they have to pay the insurance. The, the REIT itself doesn't have to pay that. So they basically just get the rent check and don't have to do any of the maintenance. It's pretty good business. Okay. And then specifically, its properties are all healthcare related with the boomer demographic. Uh, healthcare is a recession-proof trend. I think that all these things add up to a pretty good long-term play. And 4.3% dividend, which brings us to our next name, which has just about close to half that dividend of about 2.8%, well, a little over half, and that's Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, but it's still better than treasuries, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Mean, that's kind of the sad reality. <laughs> that's the sad reality of what we got going on right now. You're an income investor. I mean, 2.8% is pretty good yield for you. And again, Johnson & Johnson has kind of had a longer history. They're kind of stagnant from 2010 to 2012. But Gorski took over as a CEO, kind of uh, improved the product quality. They haven't had as many recall problems lately, dragging down the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a good income play long term. It's also a consumer staples play with its Band-Aid and Tylenol business. So I think it's really stable. And in the short term, it's outperformed modestly. I think it's a pretty good mix of, of uh, an uptrend right now and also a defensive nature stock for the long term. Okay, but it's still two tenths of a percent just above the 10-year the yield. So let's get a little more a comfortable distance between that and the 10-year. And for that, you turn to Intel. Intel really began ramping up its dividend, I want to say about three to five years ago. Now it's at a 3.4 percent dividend, but the stock has traded in a relatively narrow range. New leadership with Brian Krasanich. What do you say? Well, that's true, but you just got done with your last segment there where you guys pointed out that economic growth is a wonderful thing for the economy, and I would point out that Intel's last earnings report, this whole post-PC age where everyone thinks that, that uh, desktop chips are dead, Intel's PC business and also its data services business mm -hmm. outperformed, and they actually resulted in pretty strong earnings because of corporate uh, spending trends. So I would encourage people, if you're looking to this kind of turnaround in employment and business spending in the next couple years, you got new hires, they're all going to need computers, and for better or for worse, a lot of us have desktops or laptops, not tablets for work, a company like Intel is going to be there. So it's got this kind of stability. Like you said, range bound uh, implies stability in the long term. It's got a pretty good dividend. But if capital spending picks up from businesses, you can bet the tech stocks like Intel are going to ride that wave higher. And as we've seen this year, a lot of these momentum plays, they're really up and down. But I think Intel is this kind of stock you can take to the bank if we do see this kind of secular uptick in business spending, particularly in tech. What's it like to go to dinner with you? You talk like, I love it. <laughs> 
Jeff, you're so yeah, much my, fun. Yeah, my wife is a listener. I think you can understand why. <laughs> well, yeah, we all should go out to dinner because David and I can talk you out. All right, so thanks, I don't Jeff. know. That's a, that'd all be right. a challenge. All right, that, right, as long as you're buying. <laughs> Jeff Reeves, we'll pay, definitely. We'll bring up solar energy, Jeff. We'll see. We'll, we'll talk for the until oh, the cows cool. come home. All day home. long. All right. Love you, Jeff. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks,